To a harsh, rugged, corrupted land came a mercy and salvation. Warring tribes and fierce factions he united into one nation. And to the women trapped at the bottom of the tribal castes he brought liberation. He was the best of creation. A people so lost in ignorance, it would require a complete transformation. Who used to pray to multiple gods, but he insisted on unification. And with Tawheed at its core, he built on a solid foundation. He was the best of creation. When persecuted and driven from his home, he made patient migration, till he returned with a mighty army, and the Mushriks feared annihilation. But his was a mercy mission, there would be no retribution, what less would you expect from the best of creation. And in the heat of battle, he was at the center of confrontation. For in the way of Allah he fought with a steely determination. But when the aggressors ceased, he offered them safe haven. He was the best of creation. While kings in Rome lived vain glory, he was humility and moderation. He had no need for worldly goods. His purpose was to save his nation. Everything he had he would give away. Still he was richest in God's estimation. He was the best of creation. Now 1400 years later, he remains an inspiration. In a world of darkness and delusion, his way is illumination. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, if you grant me just one wish, let him know of my adoration. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the best of creation. <laughs>